Hey everybody, Matt from Eastwood. When you're just starting out in metalworking, one of the first things that you're going to need to learn how to do is filling holes. Whether you're customizing your car or you're just repairing old damage, you're going to run into a number of different holes that you're going to have to fill. Today I'm working on a fender that had fender flares that were bolted to the arch that went all the way around. We need to fill all of those holes and I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do this and also some tips and tricks along the way. So let's get started. I first started by removing the paint around the holes on the front side of the fender with the Contour SCT. I then used the DA sander to take the paint off of the holes on the back side as well. No matter the method we use, I want nice, clean metal to work with when filling the holes. First, we're going to show you how to fill the holes with a MIG welder. Using a tool with a copper backer is extremely helpful when filling holes. We use the adjustable magnetic hole plug welding tool on the first few holes. This tool allows you to adjust the height of the copper backer with a thumb screw to fit a contour or uneven surface where other tools may not fit or attach. With the copper backer tight on the back side of the hole, we have our hands free to fill the hole. The welding wire won't stick to the copper, but still allows you to strike an arc on it. Start on the edge of the hole and do a short, hot weld moving the puddle to the center of the hole until it fills it. Our next solution is with the handheld copper backer. This tool has a few different shaped backers that can be attached to a handle that you can firmly hold behind a panel. Fill the hole with short welds until the hole is filled and the weld is just above flush with the surface. If you have a flat area but you need both of your hands free, you can use our magnetic copper backing plates. These have rare earth magnets in the corners and hold themselves in place so you can fill the hole with the backers in place. Again, aim for the edge of the hole and move your puddle over until it fills the hole completely. Next, we will show you how to fill the holes with a TIG welder. For small trim holes like these, we can use our handheld metal punch to punch perfectly sized holes that are just a little larger than the hole in the panel. Save the discs that you punch out of the metal and flatten them with a body hammer. Then find a drill bit that is just a little bigger than the size of the disc we punched out if needed, you can use a round file to slowly open up the hole until our filler disc fits snugly in the hole we drilled. You can then set your welder up for the metal thickness you're welding and weld the metal disc to the existing metal. Try to mostly fuse the two pieces together and only add a small amount of filler wire as you go around the hole to keep the heat down and fill the seam. You will then be left with a nearly flush repair that will only take minor sanding to blend into the panel. You can then take a sander with 40 or 80 grit paper and knock down the welds until they are all flush. All right, after a little bit of welding showing you the different methods, this panel that had a lot of holes drilled in it is all filled, wasn't too invasive, and all it needs is a skim coat of filler, primer, and paint, and it's like it never happened. To see all the products that I used in this video and the rest of our Metal Fab videos, make sure you visit eastwood.com. Thanks for watching.